Hey, what's up guys? Um, so, uh, I thought I would, uh, film this little bracket I'm going to make. Actually, I'm going to make two brackets. That's why I got this slightly larger piece of, uh, sheet metal here. Um, 16 gauge, uh, I think it's eight by 24. Um, just regular old mild steel. Um, so my, my bike, and you'll see here in a second when I take you over there, but, um, I installed a, a breather filter on on the bike to uh, allow the crankcase um, to vent out into the atmosphere instead of up into the uh, intake and um, vastly improve the uh, cleanliness of how the engine runs in terms of you know its its intake charge and reducing the heat and the amount of hydrocarbons getting dumped right back into the engine. Um, yes, it's supposedly more environmentally friendly, but you know, so anyways, I'm doing some CAD and, uh, got a little, little template that I've, I've cut out here. Um, I got some decisions to make in terms of the end result of this, but it's pretty straightforward. It's, um, overall, I think it's four and a half inches, sorry, three and a half inches long. Let's see, let's measure that out real quick. It's four inches, four inches long, uh, five eighths of an inch wide. Um, the top is kind of ambiguous. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with the top. I did kind of angle it out. I don't know that that's necessary. I may just round it off like I did the bottom. Um, this is where the hole will be drilled for it to mount to the existing uh, bracket on the bike for the oil cooler. So I'll be uh, using, you know, leveraging that and the existing bolt that's in there to, uh, mount this. Now, the little filter, the breather, is um, actually zip tied on right now and it was a temporary measure. It will be zip tied to this um, just because it'll make it easier to replace the filter or the parts as necessary and it, it's fine. I mean, it's not going to go anywhere. It hasn't gone anywhere for the past several months since that's been on there, um, dealing with heat, et cetera, engine vibration. And in given that you know the factory even uses zip ties, it'll, it'll be fine. So, all right, let me uh, let me walk you guys over there, and I'll show you kind of what I'm looking at. Okay, so there's the filter and how it's currently mounted, and as it is right now, it's got a zip tie coming around this backside, wrapping around the hose, and um, and then another zip tie wrapped around the the brass elbow that you can kind of see from here, right there. Maybe you can see it glimmering. Anyway, so that's how it's currently mounted. It's just, it's on there, it is secure, and I could actually leave it like that, but I just wanted to get away from jank as much as possible. And I don't know that anyone professionally makes a bracket for this setup. Um, a lot of guys will use, actually there is, um, from another company, Escape, it, it, the name escapes me right now, I can't remember what the name of that company is. I'll, once I find it, I'll put it in the link or description box down below. But um, they do make a catch can that fits inside that little space right there. It's pretty slick, but um, this is fine. Uh, I don't find the catch can necessary. Some people believe it is, and I know that it is not. And if you find that I'm wrong or think that I'm wrong, well, I don't care. <laughs> so anyway, so that's that's uh, the extent of this video. I'm going to get started on the bracket and uh, making that. And then, yeah, we'll we'll come back to actually getting it, get it all mounted up. And then we'll do some painting. I got some black uh, Plasti Dip we're going to paint it with because that's what I got. And it's fairly um, durable. So we'll put some of that on there and rock and roll. So... All right, we'll get back. All right, so at this point, um, I am gonna go ahead and transfer this template to the metal, um, just using a Sharpie. I gotta figure out which one of these is dead. I, can't, I think it's this one that's dried out. Um, and I'm gonna draw this out a little longer than, than what I have here. And yeah, I will, you know, in, I could end up losing that little bit of metal, but it's fine. I mean, it's just part of the, Part of the process, um, 
when you don't have a computer to help you do all this stuff. So yeah, it's really literally just a matter of tracing out. Let me make sure I've got the right, yep, this is the right one. This one goes in the trash. All right, so I go ahead and trace this out. And like I said, we're gonna kinda do dashed lines out here and solid lines going this away. And we're just gonna cut that sucker out. I'm gonna keep the template because that, that's exactly where the band needs to be. And no, I did not calculate the thickness of the steel in this band. So there will be some give and take. And what I intend to do is draw or <laughs> draw, drill um, a slightly larger hole. I, I don't, I, I could probably elongate it actually. I've got a Dremel, so I could probably just uh, Dremel out the hole the f for the mount so I can slide it back and forth if necessary, as necessary. So we'll go from there. It, it's, you know, it's all give and take at this point. So be even less work with the uh, grinder so now uh, the, the rest of this is a different question the, the other end this is the upper end of the uh, the bracket where I'm not sure exactly how long it needs to be so we'll kind of figure that out as we go along um, I do need to make the bend um, but what I'm going to do is round everything out I'm going to go ahead and round off this top end just in case we end up just leaving it as is. It's fine if it's longer, that's actually okay, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and round everything out and then um, go ahead and drill, dremel this little slot, make the bend, and then go. we'll go do a quick fitment test, make sure it's okay. So, by the way, you know, if, if you don't have a degree in engineering like yours truly, it's all about, you know, trial and error and, uh, that's like 99% of the fun, really, right? Okay. Lots of times when my students Wow! All right, we're gonna start cleaning up our cuts and uh, I'm just gonna stick with the Dremel just cause I don't wanna pull out my angle grinder and deal with all that. So I guess it's kinda lazy, but this is more work. I don't know, whatever. this time of year. Yeah, that finished that one off. That's okay. I got I got as far as I needed to. 
um, prior to uh, putting the bend in it and then uh, doing a test fit and then we'll come back and round off the top. And I've got, you know, cutoff wheel, little Dremel cutoff wheel and uh, some more abrasives down here to, uh, to get that rounded out. So again, it would be better to use the uh, angle grinder to do all this. It'd make really short work of it, but you know, I don't know, maybe it's overkill, whatever. Maybe that's underkill. Either way, I'm doing work, right? Okay, so let me, uh, let me get this bent. Get close. So actually it looks like my calibrated eyeball was right on. Oops, I don't know that's too far, yeah. Cool, all right, that is straight. And uh, this is my metal brake. So all we're gonna do is pound this guy that way. And come back, and there you go. Now we have a mostly 90 degree bend and uh, it's pretty straight and we'll just uh, pop this guy on there and see see how it fits across our fingers right okay hopefully you guys can see so you can see the that there are zip ties there's one here and actually huh, yeah, that's actually the only thing that was holding it onto the bike, that one zip tie right there, which did fine, but you know, again, we're trying to reduce the amount of jank on the jank cycle. So, it, you did your job, bud. Somebody wanna play taps? Day. All right, so let's get that bracket. I do need to loosen this guy up right here and see how the fitment goes. So this is a 3 16 freedom fraction. Those of you using the metric system, can't help you. Actually, some of the some of the uh, bolts on, on this bike, it's kind of a mixed bag. Sometimes they're metric, sometimes they're standard. I don't know. Dang, that feels like it's got Loctite on it. It most likely does. So we're just gonna work it. So I'm just doing this, because I don't want to just go for it and snap that bolt. And, um, Man, that thing is it's pretty tight. That's almost certainly got some Loctite on it. Dang. And of course my filter is right in the way. I'm gonna have to move the camera, you guys. Well, I'll tell you what, we're gonna, uh, I don't know, maybe I can get you from this angle. No, nope, that's not helping. All right, so that's not gonna help either way. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna bring y'all back when I'm done. And if you see a broken bolt here, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Okay, let's just not do that. Let's not go there. All right, we got the demons out. So let's try our fitment. And <laughs> all right, looks like we got, we got a little more grinding to do in terms of our angle here. Looks like we're way flipping off. Actually, let's do this. Let's see if we can go. Nope, not gonna work. There is a captured nut on the bottom side of that bracket. I mean, I could go all the way through and look at that. That's almost perfect right there. But, you know, like I said, this is how things go when you're making stuff sometimes. 
some of you might be saying, no, not really. I don't have this problem. seems like it's just you. And uh, to that, I would reply... All right, so it looks like uh, the extra length is actually gonna help us out here on the top end. So we'll just kind of clean that up at the top, get rid of any of the, uh, uh, I don't know, sharp edges. And I do need to kind of come back a little bit, even though that right angle is great and all, I might add another bend. So one here and then an immediate, kind of like an S bend to make this not so kicked up. I want it to sit more horizontal like that. So uh, let me let me go work on this and obviously we're gonna have to work this out and uh, slot that much further back. In fact, let me, uh, well, I'm not gonna, thinking out loud here, guys, thinking out loud, just bear with me. Let me get my marker. Nope, not gonna be able to do that. So it's, I'm gonna get a marker and, and come from the bottom edge and, and mark underneath there, but it's there's that captured nut. So that's not happening. So it looks like I just need to come back another full length that direction. And we'll leave we'll leave this extra meat on the on this bracket. It's fine. Um, so I need to just double the length of that hole, come back another you know, full length of whatever that is. And then clean up the top edge. I also need to put that S bend in. So let me, let, I do need to mark that before I go over there and start working on the anything else. I need to mark where that S bend is gonna go so that everything sits the way I want it to. So actually I can, I'll be right back. <laughs> all right well it needs to be right about there all right guys we're back and uh part's still a little bit warm from working it over um these are the bends that i ended up with um they're not as sharp as i would have liked but you know it's it's fine it's fine is get worked up for no reason. All right, so that's how it's gonna sit. I do need to come up a little bit more vertical here to flatten that out. Of course this, ow, oh, that hurt. that's freaking sharp. That zip tie right there is kind of in the way, but what'll end up happening is this'll just get zip tied completely around this bracket. The hole down here lined up fairly well uh, it's not perfect, but it still should go. And um, yeah, actually now that I'm, yeah, I'm gonna have to clip this guy off and re resituate how this ends up sitting, but it will be pretty good once we're. All right, guys, we're back. Um, here's the bracket, didn't turn out half bad, but it ain't half good either, <laughs> so it'll do. Um, it's a bracket and you won't see it, and it'll be back there. So um, the Plasti Dip is, well, it's, it's not tacky. I don't know if it's fully cured yet, but that's okay. I'm gonna be as gentle as I can about putting this thing together. And if it gets scratched a little bit, that's fine, I guess. Um, it is just a bracket. All right, so I've got all my stuff over here. I need to snip this. Um, and I apologize, I'm gonna be in y'all's way. I tried to position the camera so y'all could see, but I don't know, we may have to move things around some more, we'll see. So I had to remove that so I could reset it once we get everything the way we want. When I say we, I mean I. And um, here's the elongated bolt hole. 
and uh, let's hope that my calibrated eyeball is still on point and that we can get this thing together dang one eternity later all right guys we're back um this is the state of affairs i in terms of desi design decisions i kind of wish i had put the notches on there um to maybe force the zip ties to remain located in in one position as it stands now um it's as secure as it used to be and um should be should be good to go so anyhow um we'll see we'll see i mean it, it should be easy enough to rectify if indeed i have to i probably went overboard on the zip ties but i just wanted to make sure that things were going to remain where they needed to remain you know it was fine before with with the single zip tie wrapped around like that i just wanted something a little bit more I don't know. I wouldn't call that professional. Definitely not winning any bracket awards with uh, Project Binky guys. <laughs> so until next time, you guys, um, peace out and keep it between the ditches. Just call me Mr. Butterfingers. Um, I think it's on the, the floor somewhere. Oh, is my face red? <laughs>